Hi, it's Andy, and welcome to the Hills Church Podcast. Our hope is that this will help your life and inspire your faith. Thanks again for checking us out. But hey, this morning, I have, uh, I have the honor, I count this an honor to do what we get to do, eh? Um, I got the honor to speak from God's Word and uh, to share a little bit from, from the Bible. Um, and this morning, we're going to talk about prayer. Is that all good? Someone say prayer. Very good. If you're all, if you're all alert, if you're doing well. Now, here's the thing about it. Prayer is a huge subject. Yes, uh, it's a large conversation. It's something that we are instructed to do from God's word. It's our communication between us and God. I could go on all day. I probably could go on for weeks. We could talk a long time about prayer. But as I was preparing even to talk today or share this thought, as it were, um, very good to see you in the room, sir. Let's give Gary a wee cheer. Uh, we've been standing with Gary, praying with his daughter, um, as you know, church. And uh, hey, it'll be good to speak to you afterwards, Gary, and get a wee update. But Gary's been in America uh, with his daughter, and um, we've been praying for them and keeping uh, God's covering over him, his daughter, and all of the above. Believing for a miracle with them. Uh, can we say amen? Um, but prayer, you see, is a powerful thing. Yeah. But this morning, I, 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 I'm no theologian. Just uh, if you're here visiting this morning, I did a theology degree. I have been at Bible college. I have a degree. I have the paper and everything to show it. Um, I know. I'm shocked too. Um, but uh, I, I, I was thinking about how, we, how do we share this. But, but really what I want to do this morning is give us something, encouragement about prayer. Yeah? Some practical something in your hand that you can leave here today that you're going to understand in these next few moments that you have the power to pray. Yes, that, that, that every single person, the thing I love about prayer is this, that every single person gets to participate in prayer. Yes, if you have lungs, if you have a body, if you have breath in your lungs, if you're alive today, you have the potential and the power to pray. You, I can just get an RP word going here. It's like I made up all these P's. You, you, you have, you can participate in prayer. So if you're here today and you're a person that struggles with prayer, well, I want to tell you what the Bible says in Matthew 6. In fact, summarize it in the Dunhamana language. It says, hey, quit your blethering, blethering. Go into a room and pray like this. This is, what the, this is what it says in the Bible. And we can all do this prayer even now as we kick off today's conversation. Philip's going to help us by putting the Lord's Prayer on the screen. Let's pray it together. Our Father, let's go on. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And you know what? If you pray no other prayer, you're new to prayer because the truth is, in the journey of walking with God, we're all in different stages, yeah? For some of us, it's like, there's people in this room today who are listening to this message online, um, really encouraged by the amount of people listening to their podcast. Well, the amount of people text me last week was really encouraging, that's a side note. But th- th- like it's a ladder, like, pe- people, are, people are listening in here that have never prayed before, yeah? They, they, th- there's people that are, that are here over here, and we all know them, people, that they pray about everything. Yeah. You know, they pray about a parking space. I mean, let's talk about praying for parking space. What about the poor creature that didn't get your parking space? Hmm. Not as simple now, is it? You know, it's a big theological conversation, though. I, I sat in Bible college, and we argued about prayer and how we do it, and, you know, the Bible goes into it, and we could go in, in depth, and I, I could go there with you, but I'm not going to today that, you know, there's, we can speak in tongues, there's, there's, there's different ways of t- talking to God and worshiping Him, but the bottom line is, you have the potential to talk, pray, and walk with God. Every single thing inside of you right now is perfectly and fearfully and wonderfully made. You are incredible. You're doing better than you think. Say this after me, I'm doing better than I think. Happy days. Um, because here's the bottom line, that, that, that every single person can participate in prayer. You have the ability to connect with God and pray to Him and see His kingdom come. On, on here, as it? You can walk into a sick room. I have been in ICU rooms where we prayed 
for, for people, and we saw them healed. I, I have seen people, uh, think, and you, I, I know people in this room, you have saw people healed and touched by God through prayer. Yes, it's incredible what God can do. In fact, the Bible says that God can do way more than ever I can dream of or imagine. Yes, he may be even, you know, he can do anything. God will and can blow your mind. But the truth is there's this gap called faith, and maybe that's a conversation for another day. We'll lead on to possibly next week, come to church next week. There we go. There's a trailer. I mean, is that good? I mean, you're all blown away by my intellect. I know you're going to be back anyway, and the good looks and the tall height. And, you know, what am I blaring about? I need to go into a room and pray. But you see, prayer, I love what prayer does. It takes the weight off us, and it, and it brings the power from God. You know, your problem is God's priority. And where's the first thing we go with our problems or situations or desires or hearts? And often Hills Church, the Hills Church as we're called. It's funny that it's so easy, and I've said this before, that it's funny that in our times of need, in our times of despair, because some of us, that's the only time we do pray. But prayer is going to be a thing where we do daily, but in those moments of needing something, some it's funny that the last place we can go to is prayer. And then the truth is, God wants us to do this, because this is what it says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, and Philip's going to help us by putting the words on the screen. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about what? Pray about, everybody. somebody say, everything. Pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, the New Living Translation. Read it for yourself when you go home. You can talk, read through all the Gospels. You can find out that Jesus came. He empowered his disciples. And he said, the Holy Spirit's going to come because I'm going to go. And you're going to have all authority given to you from heaven to go into earth to see his kingdom come. You can walk into work tomorrow and you can say to a colleague that you're working with, hey, I'm going to pray for you. You're going to be well in Jesus' name. You, you, can, you can go to, the, to your neighbor and you can say, hey, do you want me to pray for you? Listen, I have yet to be refused whenever I've asked someone, can I pray for them? I have saw God move in people's lives. Did you know that people that don't walk with God also are open to getting prayed for? It's not our own me holy huddle, and that we're not, a, this is not a, fl- a country club for, for saints, like saints, it's, 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 it's a hospital for the sinners and the sick. That's what we are. We're not here to pat each other on the back. We're, this is not the Hills Church desire. Hey, if you're a Christian here today, we love you. If this is where you decide to make it your home, wherever you have, I believe you need to find a local church and you need to grow in the things of the Lord. Would you agree? It is incredible to walk with God, get closer to Him. I love that we're a church family, but I'm sorry to tell you that we, we have a mission here and we want to see every person in the northwest of Ireland connect to Jesus Christ. At least at once, hear the message that Jesus Christ is Lord. And to get saved, all you've got to do is ask him into your life. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you will be saved. Because we pray for people every day. And I don't know about you, but I pray for my friends who do not know him all the time. But I'm not sure when it will work, will it work. But this is what I am sure of. God hears our prayers. Because it says in the Bible that I should pray about everything. And I'm going to keep on praying. And I just want to tell you today that... You have the power to pray. And I, I want to I say this, that, that, that there is a mentality out there that it's got to be the man of God or the woman of God. And, and, and yeah, I, I do respect that. I, 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 I particularly am I'm meeting a guy tomorrow. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a man I, I really trust and I know him for a long time. He's an older guy in the journey. And I, I'm meeting him tomorrow to, to hang out with him. He's a man of prayer. He's a man I respect greatly. And he's, he's, he's coming a long drive. We're meeting halfway. And we're just going to spend some time in prayer. This month, I have prioritized prayer in my own personal life. Guess what? I don't have social media anymore. I'm an alien. I al- I'm alive. I'm blown away, though, at the, at the amount of time I was playing on social media. I know all you spend five minutes a day. But Tyler was at our house this week, and he says, uh, 
I'm late this morning. I said, all right, very good. What's wrong? What are you at? There's nothing on that Facebook curve. Literally, that's the answer. I was blown away. I was like, jeepers. But I decided this month, this year, if there's something's going to change in my life, it's going to change through my walk with God. Yes? If something's going to happen, if I'm going to become better, da 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 you can read all the self-help books you want. You can see all the counselors you want to see. You can take whatever pill you want to take. Hey, I'm all for medication. I'm all for getting help. I'm all for reading good books. I'm all for leadership. I'm all about that. But you know what I want to do this year? I want to become closer to God. And my vehicle for doing that is going to be through what? Prayer. My starting point is my communication with me and God. And I don't know about you, but... Uh, a, a, over a month ago, I took off Facebook, and th this morning, the first thing I'm doing on my phone, because every, I still have a temptation to reach my phone, I'm not going to lie, and I'm still addicted to that game, which I'm on a journey with, I've got to go to that game, that's the next thing i got to do, just flipping game on my phone, I'm playing away, and I was like, are you serious? Um, but it only lasts for like five months' time, and it puts you out for like two hours, which is amazing, but then when the half hour comes, you're like, wait, and um, anyway, sidetracking, where am I? I broke, I see a bird, where are we? Prayer. Um, the first thing I'm doing this morning is, is getting in the Bible, man. Just getting my, 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 daily, my daily devotion. I, I'm using Glorify. Our church walks with this thing called Glorify. It's incredible. Daily devotion. I speak about it every week. Because I want to become closer to God. I want to pray more. You cannot pray too much. Did you know that? And last week, I hope you were encouraged that if you've prayed in the past, things haven't came through, or maybe you've got some hurt or disappointment, that don't let last year's disappointment stop you from praying this year. Remember what we talked about sowing seeds and people in here brushing up for about two hours after I covered this whole place in barley seeds. Listen to the message in our podcast, whatever. But you see, the bottom line is this, that I got a concrete block in my hand, yeah? Paul, you're going to help me. Throw it back in my fall. I've been holding this block for years. It's foam. Some silly person threw this at me when I was at Bible college, hit me in the head. Now, and then point four of a second, I freak. Did you freak out there, Paul? You didn't even. That was the problem. <laughs> I think John freaked out. He thought I was getting hit with a block. Um, I always knew I would have used this block somewhere along the line. Um, so I said, everyone knows his phone now. Um, This looks like a block. Yeah. Brick, sorry. There's a brickies out there looking at me going, that's not a block. There we go. We get telling off later from Graham. It's not a block, sir. It, it, it looks like a brick. Yeah. But it's not. You see... Walking with God is the best decision I've ever read in my life. Just had a moment this week. I went somewhere and she came with me in the car and we were just talking about decisions. Decisions, you, you, you can make bad decisions. I've made bad decisions. But I've got a few right. But following God is definitely the best decision I've ever made. It's changed my life. Changed my perspective. Changed my outlook. Changed my purpose. Fulfillment. Contentment. It has blown my mind. Would you agree that following God is a good decision? The best thing you can ever do. It's not a boring life. Christianity, following Jesus is not boring. It's just I know some boring Christians. I say that every week for all you guests. I think that's maybe funny. It's really not funny. These people are bored hearing that stupid saying. In fact, some people even got offended at that saying. Wow. As long as you don't pick the gate, pick the fence if you want. But when you walk with God, and you get to know the things of God, and the more closer I get to God, and the more I realize His presence, and the more I get to Him, you see, it's not a cookie cutter thing. Some people worship God and they're sitting on their knees and they close their eyes and they go for a dance. Some people do flags. Some people put their hands in the air. I keep my hands in my pocket and it's way. What, what, what kind of worshiper are you? This is me. Can I do the odd wee step? Oh, we will. Oh, right. Yeah? 
I'm not even going to sing because you're going to go. But we, we all pray differently. We all, we all read our Bibles differently. We all have an outlook on theology differently. We can see things differently, and that's just the way it is. But that's okay. But the incredible thing is when you walk with God and you get to know him and the more you pray to him and the more you talk to him, what you start to realize is that it's not as heavy as you thought. It's not as heavy as you thought. There's just some things in life that you do not have to carry. And I think when I think about prayer and I read the Gospels and I studied, and over these last few weeks, I have listened to different messages, different sermons. You can go home today, you can say, Andy, hey, that was a bit watery, that message today. You could have went a little bit deeper. Hey, well, okay, that's no problem. But I just wanted to give us some tools this week to, to take the weight off a little bit, to go like, the bottom line is it's your communication. Firstly, you've got to understand that you have the potential and the power to pray. You can communicate with God. Yes, the enemies out there, they isolate us though and say, we're not qualified. He's going to remind us of our past mistakes, failures, sins, shortcomings, and every single thing that's not of God, he's going to remind you of. Did you ever notice when you go to talk to God, every distraction under the sun comes your way? I mean, should I wash the car? Should I hoover? I mean, that's even exponential. Victoria's even shocked at that one. Um, we got a new hoover, though, and that's pretty cool. But, hey, you know, it's not new anymore. So it's like, oh, a hoover. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, but, but, but isn't it funny, the, thing, when the moment you go near the things of God, distractions come your way? Yeah. The moment you want, you want to, you want to, you're at church today and you're, you're kind of fired up. You've been sitting in your seat you're going, like, yeah, 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 I'm going to see things of God. And then you go back and, you, and then tomorrow morning comes and like, Oh my goodness, it's really 7 o'clock. I mean, is Ralph genuinely jumping on top of us right now? I mean, have we got the day to go school run, blah, 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 uh, your work to get to, whatever else. And all of a sudden, you're at 3 o'clock and you're going to need to pray still. And then you're going to do it on the way home in the car. You get into the car and your mates ring. And all of a sudden, you're back home. You've got to make the dinner. Then you're going to pray at night. And all of a sudden, you have to watch Emmerdale. Is Emmerdale still on TV? Is that even a thing? Um, uh, you know, and all of a sudden, then you've got to put the wains to bed. And, da -da -da -da, da -da -da, and it's 12 o'clock. Prioritizing prayer is key in your life. That's what I wanted to say this morning. And the fact is this, that you have the power and the potential to do that. Every single person can participate in prayer and talking to the Lord Jesus Christ. There is nothing that you have done that can stop you from talking to God. Yes? Did you know that people that do not follow God can even talk to God? I talked to God a whole pile of times before I came to know him. E.g., at the start of a rally. Dear God, please let me die and over a cliff in the Isle of Man. Amen. Before I was walking with God, saved, in relationship with God, whatever language you want to put around it, knowing Jesus personally as my Lord and Savior is maybe how I want to put it, is I knew how to talk to God. But it was only when I needed him. What I'm getting the revelation of this year is, you see, prayer gives us the revelation that our problem is God's priority. Prayer gives me the revelation that he is my Lord and Savior. And wherever he is and where I am, he is with me. And whenever I need calmness, he can bring me calmness. When I need peace, he can bring me peace. When I need hope, he can bring me hope. When I need healing, he can bring me healing. When I need restoration, he can bring me restoration. When I need to pray for my friend, he can pray for my friend. It is incredible what God can do. But the truth of it is all of us are carrying something. We're all carrying some kind of weight or other. yes. But when it's sitting on the shelf and it's sitting up there and you're looking at it and the old enemy or the devil or whatever word you want to call it, you're looking at it and you're weighing it up and there is nothing more frightened, frightening where the enemy wants you to be. He wants you to be where I'm standing right now and the weight's over there. He wants you isolated from it. And it becomes a bigger thing and a heavier thing and the more you think about it and then you just go, I am too out of here. I can't even pray for that thing. But the moment I get to it and I reach for it by the horns and I go, God, I'm going to erase Facebook and Instagram this year. I'm just saying I'm not preaching about social media. Listen, I love social media. I think it's good crack and I love it. And I mean, some of the videos that Victoria shows me on TikTok are hilarious and I get it. And it's a good way to stay connected with friends. It's not a sermon against, this is just my personal walk. Are we good with that? So social media away, boys. It's not like my, but my personality type, I genuinely think, you know what? I need a bit of accountability. I don't need it in my life, man. I really don't. I don't care what you're doing, to be honest. I love Facebook Marketplace low. I kind of miss that. We should bring back AutoTrader. I mean, Thursdays were the best day in the world when AutoTrader was a thing. You went to the shop, you get a packet of chewing gum and AutoTrader for a pound. And you got home and you looked at everything and bought nothing. 
that's just maybe a boy from Dunham. I know anyone here from outside of this tiny little area, you're completely gobsmacked. That's even a thing. Because I'm going to rat, grab by the horns and I'm going to go, do you know what? There's nothing formed against me that's going to prosper because my God is bigger than my problem. My God is bigger than any situation. Anything comes my way, God is able. So no matter what you're going to face this year, it's not as heavy as you think. It just looks big. The enemy is trying to make it bigger than it is. He thinks that he's trying to portray that it's something that it's not. It's under your feet. Yes? And that thing is going to become well. Speak life over it. We need to stop putting people in graves before they're in graves. We need to stop getting together and going, is your man, your man sick? Sir? We, we know the fact that every single day of the week you hear of another person that's getting diagnosed with the horrible disease. We hear it all the time, him and her, different things going on. We've got to speak life over that. We're going to quit to pray for that. We're going to say, hey, you know what? Hey, yes, they are, but my God's going to heal that. It, it, there's nothing going to stop that. Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm fearing about anxiety, a bit of stuff going on. Hey, my God's going to cure that. My God's going to provide that. Hey, I'm worried about my finances and my situations. Hey, my God's going to bring finances. Hey, my relationship's single. I mean, hey, P's getting the touch again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, P, I got sidetracked. I mean, you're so good looking. It's just the thing. I mean, whatever. Um, just having a crack here. Come on. Um, my relationship status is this, pray about that, my, 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 my family situation, whatever it is, it's not as heavy as you think. Does this help? We could chat all day. Sure, look, I've been going for 22 minutes. Holy jeepers, it feels like I've been chatting for 20 seconds. How did we get to 20 minutes? Is that, is that seriously happen? Is that the time? Yeah, it is. Good God. Oh, my word. That probably felt long where you are, but it feels like I was just talking for two minutes there. But anyway, I don't know what's going on. Everyone's sitting bored of their heads. are going, like, oh, I'm going to stop soon. <laughs> it's not as heavy as you think. Let's get to the Lord in prayer. Everything to God in prayer. It's an old song. You probably don't really go here. Who wants to join in? I don't know who that is. Joy is mortified. She's like, no, no, no. But we've got to forget about this whole, hey, we're a new day and it's a new thing. There's nothing under the sun is new. Yeah. We're not the best church in town. We do not have it all sorted out. God called us to plant the church. We're a group of believers that want to reach our, peop- our, our friends and neighbors that don't know God. We haven't that really, we haven't, there's not a new thing. We're not fancier than anyone else. There's not a new special thing. This is all very simple, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Walk with the Lord. Put him first. Serve God. Love him with all your heart. Trust in him. And lean not in your own understanding. Lead, lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. That's actually what the Bible says. Put him first. Walk with him. Be a good person. Hey, love your wife. Love your kids. Love your family. Walk with the Lord. Get connected to the church. Chill out. And do it whatever way you want to do it. If it's going home today, praying in the car and speaking in tongues and driving her full tilt, if it's going to the shower and singing like whatever, if it's, if it's sitting for five minutes in solitary in the morning, if it's going for a walk with your dog, if it's doing whatever it is, do it. Just do it. Because it's going to change your life. It's going to shift your perspective. It's going to lift your head up high. And as I was driving in the, in, the, in the church this morning, I was just praying about this message. You were looking at the road, you know, it was like, it's all standing water. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just not a nice time of the year. It's like it's gray and it's, it's musky. And it's kind of going like, that road there is just dangerous, man. It's standing water. And as I just lifted my eyes up to the hills, it was just like, it was just a break of sun. And I was going like, lift your eyes and see the things of God. It's not as heavy as you think. Ban, let's close this message today. God's good. Hey, God is good. I mean, God is good. Yes, he is for you. If you feel that they've prayed and no one's listening, get back on your saddle and pray. If you're out there and you have a weight right now, let's pray together and give it to the Lord in prayer as we close. Stand with me this morning. And if you're listening to this mess online, we're going to pray together. So here, what's your, what's your weight that you're carrying? What's your situation? Or 
hey, is there someone out there that you need to pray for, even in this second? Is there a weight out there that's been a little bit heavier than what you were anticipating? A worry that seems bigger than you thought it was? What is it? Just close your eyes right now, wherever you are. Dear Lord Jesus, take this weight. God, you, you died and you rose again. More importantly, for me and for, for every single person that's in this message, but God, you, you want to carry our weights. You want to take the burden off. So I pray, God, in this moment, God, just as we go into worship and church this morning, that we would give it to you. But I pray, God, that people would understand right now in this moment, God, that it's not as heavy as it looks. That they would relax in their own personality and their own body type and their own faith type, whatever that may be. And God, understand that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I pray this week, oh God, that we would be understanding that we can participate in prayer and that we would talk with you and walk with you. In Jesus' name, and we all said, God bless you. Hey, thanks again for checking out the Hills Church podcast. Hey, if this message has inspired or encouraged you in any way, why don't you share it with a friend? Hi, as well as that, we meet every Sunday at 11 a.m. at the Waterside Theatre, and we'd love to see you at one of our services. But hey, thanks again for checking out the podcast. Why don't you subscribe to our channel?